Hello everybody, I am Balji Dhaka from Pinnacle Coaching Center and today we are going to discuss paper code 716. There are four parts of this paper. In this presentation we will cover part 1. In this we will discuss question from 1 to 25. Question number 1 is the value of this expression we have to tell the value of this expression. Now we have to use here word mass formula and according to this first we have to solve this of according to board mass in fact this is v board mass because first is v nicolum now this would be equal to 2 by 3 into 5 by 4 that is equal to 5 by 6 if we divide 5 by 6 by 5 by 6 then we will have 1 so this would be equal to 2 by 3 into 3 and divide by 1 after that we will solve this then we will have 3 and cancel to 3 we will get 2 answer is 1 a would be the answer because this is 2 question number 2 2 number are in the ratio of 5 to 6 when 4 is subtracted from each the ratio become 4 is to 5 greater number would be this is very frequently asked kind of question 5 by 6 5x 6x 5, 4 is subtracted from each portion then we will have 4 is to 5 ratio then you will have x is equal to 4 the bigger number would be greater number would be 4 into 6 because value of x would be 4 6 into 4 that is 24 answer is c next question question number if P sin x is equal to Q and x is acute then we have to find the value of this expression now you can put value here let's say x is equal to 30 you can also take it 45 let's say sin 30 which is equal to 1 by 2 so P into 1 by 2 is equal to q in other words p is equal to 2q now you can put value here that is 2q square that would be equal to 4q square minus q square that is 3q square you can cancel to this then we will have root 3 and q into q now we have to find the value of this tangent theta tangent alpha into tangent tangent x that is this is 30 degree so what tangent 30 is 1 by root 3 if you multiply it by then we will have this expression is equal to q q b should be the answer what we have done in this question we have just put the value next question question number four if the area of the base of a cone is 770 centimeter square and the area of the curved surface is 814 then its volume would be now area of the base in this area of the base that is this is cone pi r square pi r square this is area of the base which is given 770 in other words this is equal to 22 by 7 and r square Now value of r square is equal to 7 into 5 into 7. r would be equal to 7 root 5. This is the value of r. Now area of the curved surface is 814. 814 that is pi rl. Pi rl. 22 by 7. r is 7 root 5. And l. We have to find the value of l. And surface area is 814 so you can cancel to this and thirty seven L would be equal to thirty seven divided by root five. This is the value of L. What do we have to find? We have to find the value of volume. If we know this is L, 
this is l37 root 5 and we know r value is 7 root 5 then we can find the value of a this from this two expression volume would be equal to 1 by 3 into pi that is 22 by 7 and into pi r square r is r is 7 root 5 So 49, you can write here r square 17 uh, 49 to 5, and h. We have to find the value of volume. Now see from the option, which number is divided by 11? This cannot be done. It means this cannot be the answer. This cannot be divided by 11. It it can would not be answer. This is divided by 11. so this can be answer and this is also divided by 11 so this can be answer from these two we have to now find you can initially in starting also can go that 1 by 3 you can write initially 1 by 3 pi and r square but here always this is the divisibility test of 11 in the answer in such kind of question in mensuration in fact you can use divisibility test of 11 frequently it is highly recommended because sometimes in the option you will find that either the question will go by 7 or 12 uh, 7 or 11 in fact 11 and 7 divisibility test both are important now here in this this equation this question uh, option it should be divided by 11 also because this is 11 into and should be divided by 7. So now see from this which is divided by 7 because both are divided by 11. 7 this is divided by 7. This is not 5. This is in fact 6. So this should be. It is divided by 7. Here it is not divided by 7. So D should be the answer. Without calculation by divisibility test, even in the first attempt, first line you can solve this question. So answer would be D. it is up to you whether you want to use divisibility issue whether you want to use a uh, factor technique which technique you want to use it is up to you however it is not required that you fully solve this question as far as calculation part is concerned without solving fully by just knowing that divisibility test component you can solve this question that will be a better idea because in exam in exam it is up to you and it is required in fact that tricks can play important and which kind of tricks you want to use it is up to you hcf o 5 by 6 10 by 18 and 25 by 36 so hcf is always hcf of numerator and lcm of denominator numerator hcf would be 5 and lcm would be here 36 5 by 36 should be the answer. 6, 18, and 36 LCM is 36. Question number six: In what ratio must water mixed with milk costing rupees 12 per liter to obtain a mixture of worth rupees 8 per liter? Milk costing rupees per liter. Cost of milk rupees per liter, and mixture cost is 8 rupees. now this question you can solve by allegation technique water has to mix in milk and price of water is 0 rupees per liter milk price is 12 rupees per liter mix is 8 rupees liter now 12 minus 8 difference of these two would be equal to 4 difference of these two will to 8 1 is to 2 ratio 1 liter of water will be mixed in 2 liter of milk question is what ratio must water mixed with milk one component of water mixed should be mixed with two component of a milk that is 1 is to 2 ratio answer is c question number 7 two equal sums were borrowed at 8% simple interest per annum for 2 years and 3 years respectively the difference in the interest rate was 
some borrowed work here two equal sum were borrowed at 8% simple interest so p you can write here into r that is 8% into years that is 3 years divided by 100 minus p into here 8 and 2 divided by 100 so difference in the interest is here 56 it would be 56 now 24 p minus 16 p is equal to the 1 by 100 you can take common and then it will make 5600 uh, so 8 p is equal to 5600 p value would be 700 answer is b this is important this variety, variety is very important you can note down question number 8 x and plus a and is divisible by x plus a only n is any what is n in fact so let's say if i put here n is equal to 1 and n is equal to and n is equal to 1 then we will have x by a and this would be divided by x plus a when we have n let's say you can also put value for example this is 2 x is equal to 2 and a is equal to 1 so this is now 2 plus 1 3 by 3 it is divisible if i put here 2 and if i, I have put a 2 then it will be 4 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 that is 3 so when we have let's say i put here 3 then we will have 8 and plus 1 9 2 plus 1 so 9 by 3 it means whenever we have odd integer odd integer in place of n then it will be divided by x plus a so it means odd integer would be the answer answer is a next question question number 9 the expression this expression is given here and we have to find this is equal to which option now here you can use this formula cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1 now now in this equation you can put here put here like 2 plus root 2 root 2 2 plus here 2 in place of cos it would be here 2 cos square and it would be then 4 theta 4 theta because if you put here theta then this would be 4 4 theta minus 1 and if you solve this if you solve this then you will have 2 minus plus 4 cos square theta minus 2 then you can cancel to this now 4 cos square 4 theta root of this would be equal to 2 cos 4 theta 2 cos 4 theta it means we have solved this question till here till here now this would be 2 root 2 plus now we are solving this portion you want to write this before this you can also write now this has become again like this we have converted into this use now this cos 2 theta 2 cos square theta minus 1 then we will here, here we will get now this would become again if you want to write directly here then again you can write here what we will write 2 cos 2, uh, 2 theta directly you can mention otherwise you can solve how will you solve again root 2 here then we will have 2 in place of cos 4 theta you write here 2 cos square 
2 theta minus 1 and that would be equal to 2 plus 4 cos square 2 theta minus 2 you can cancel to this and root of this would be equal to 2 cos 2 theta now 2 cos that's why I was asking you to directly write 2 cos 2 theta now this this would be equal to here you write root 2 then 2 cos 2 theta again same process you follow here again yes same process you can follow here in place of this you write 2 plus 2 and cos 2 theta in place of cos 2, 2 theta you write, uh, write directly 2 cos square theta minus 1 and that would be equal to 2 plus 4 cos square theta minus 2 you can cancel to this and uh, root of this 4 cos square theta would be 2 cos theta now this entire we have solved 2 cos theta should be the answer answer is b so what we have done in this question that we have used this formula and we have put to put this formula according to this ultimately we will get an answer next question question number 10 a sum of rupees 36.90 is made up of 180 coins which are either 10 rupee 10 paise coins or 25 paise coins the number of 10 paise coins is such kind of question you can solve by allegation technique here we have 10 paise coin and we have here 25 paise coins and average average is 36 nine zero this is pesa divided by 180 coins divided by 180 coins then we will have 41 by 2 pesa average is 41 by 2 pesa and here the difference is difference here would be equal to 9 by 2 and then here it would be equal to 41 by 2 minus 10 that will be equal to, uh, that will be equal to 41 minus 20 that is 21 by 2 ratio is 9 is to 21 in other words 3 is to 7 is the ratio of 10 pesa and 25 pesa number of 10 pesa out of 180 so 3 by 10 3 by 10 total is 10 then this is 3 in 180 it would be equal to 54 so 54 pesa number of 10 passive points would be 54 answer is b next question question number 11 two men a and b working together complete a piece of work which if would have taken them respectively 12 and 18 days to complete if they worked separately they received in payment rupees 1492.50 find their shares two men a and b now a and b they are working efficiency they are working in 12 and 18 days so their efficiency would be 18 and 12 because more number of days will take it means efficiency is less so their efficiency is this person has more efficiency let's say 36 is the total number of unit you want to take in that way then in one day he will do three unit and in one day he will do two unit so their efficiency is 3 is to 2 question is find their share a will get 3 by 5 rupees and out of 5 rupees a will get 3 rupees so 1492.50 so it should be equal to 50 is only in one so answer would be a if you want to verify it further clarify it further then you can also find the value of b that is 2 by 5 into 1492.50 but i am very sure that there is no need to calculate further because in one there is only one option next question question number 12 a shopkeeper marks his ID at 10 20 percent above the cost price and allows the purchaser a discount of 10 percent for cash buying what profit percentage does he make let's say 100 is the cost he is marking 120 rupees and after that a, uh, gives 10% discount that is 
12 rupees discount 120 into 10 percent that is 12 rupees discount it means he is selling in 108 rupees 100 rupees item the cost price he is selling 108 rupees so 8 percent profit would be the answer d question number 13 average marks of 14 students was calculated as 71 but it was later found that the marks of one student has been wrongly entered as 142 or as a 42 instead of 56 so entered you can say wrong and right wrong entered 42 correct was 56 and another as 74 instead of a 32 so actually 4 plus 2 6 11 and here 12 and uh, the difference here is 28 so 28 marks were added more while actually it should have been less 28 marks so on 14 student the difference would be 2 marks per student so 2 marks per student is the real average less to earlier it was 71 now it should be 69 answer is c what we have done in this question is that 71 is the early average plus or minus you can write here the difference of a difference of right and wrong here we find that it was early it was earlier more counted it should have been less so it should be here minus and difference here is 28 divided by 14 it means average should be too less so answer is 69 d c should be the answer question number 14 in a family of eight males and few ladies average monthly consumption of grain per head is 10.8 if average monthly consumption per head be 15 kg in case of males and 6 kg in case of females find the number of females in the family here average is 10.8 monthly consumption of grain per head in the family is average monthly consumption 10.8 and male consumption is average consumption per head 15 kg in case of male that is 15 and in case of female that is 6 so through allegation we can find the difference here would be equal to 4.2 and here the difference is 4.8 it means 48 and 48 and 42 8 and 7 ratio so 8 female then 7 would be female question is there are 8 males female would be then 7 answer is b through allegation we can solve this kind of question very easily question number 15 if the measure of the side of triangle are x square minus 1 x square plus 1 and 2x then the triangle would be you can here put value let's say x is equal to you put here 3 then we will have 3 into 2 3 power 2 that is 9 9 minus 1 8 9 plus 1 10 3 into 2 that is 6 so 6 8 10 this is Pythagoras triplet 6 8 and 10 so the triangle would be equilateral triangle and uh, this triangle would be right angle triangle answer is D question number 16 a sum of money is to be dist uh, distributed among P, Q, R in the ratio 6, 19, 6 ratio 19 ratio 7. If R gives rupees 200 from its share to Q, ratio P, Q and R becomes 3 is to 10 is to 3. What is the total sum? Question number 16. A sum of money is to be distributed. <coughs> now in this question, P, Q, R, P, Q and R they are giving the ratio 6 19 and 7 you can say 6x 19x and 7x now if r gives 200 rupees from his share to q and the ratio p q r would become 3 10 and 3 10 3 you can write here 19x divided by 7x plus 200 because because here q is getting r is giving and q is getting 200 rupees R is given which will make Q and R 10 is to 3 10 is to 3 ratio now this is the question according to the statement which is given 
Now this should be equal to 57x plus 600 is equal to 70x minus 2000. So 13x would be equal to 2600, x would be equal to 200. Now what is the question? What question is the total sum? Total sum would be equal to 19 plus 6, 25 plus 7, 32. So 32x is equal to 32 into 200 that is 6400 should be the answer. Answer is A. Next question, question number 17. <coughs> 20 liters of mixture contain contains milk and water in the ratio of 5 is to 3. If 4 liter of this mixture is replaced by 4 liter of milk, then the ratio of milk to water in the new mixture would be. Here it is given 20 liter. So 5 20 liter 5 is to 3 ratio. In other words, 5 by 8 into 20. If total is 8, then this should be 5 milk. That will make 25 by 2, that is 12.5. If this is 12.5, then this would be 7.5 because 20 minus 12.5 that is 7.5 now milk is 20 12.5 and water is second is water that is 7.5 total mixture is 20 liter if 4 liter of this mixture is replaced by 4 liter of milk 4 liter so this would be equal to 2.5 and 1.5 because 8 if this is 8, then this is 5. If this is 4, then this would be 2.5. This would be 1.5. So 2.5 from this and 1.5 from this. 4 liter of the mixer is now released from here. And 4 liter of milk is added. 4 liter of milk is added in place of the mixer. Now total will come 12.5 minus 2.5. That is 10 plus 4, 14. And here it would be 6. Now ultimately you will find that 7 would be the uh, 14 and 6 would be the ratio that is 7 is to 3 milk and water. Answer is C. Next question, question number 18. If X earns 25% less than Y, what percentage more does Y earn than X? In such kind of question, always learn this trick always if this is 25 percent less is given then always write 20 divided by 20 75 into 100 that is 100 by 3 100 by 3 c should be the answer this is very important trick if it is uh, here given let's say 20 percent more than y then this should be equal to 20 divided by 100 to, uh, 120 if it is more than always add if it is less than always subtract this would be ultimately trick and you will not have uh, to use your mind to think in a greater detail. You directly can give answer. What does it mean? It means that if earlier it was 100, if it is 100, then now X earned 25 percent. X is earning 75 rupees. So he is earning 25 rupees less. Now what percentage more Y earn than X? Y is earning 25 rupees on 75 rupees more y is earning 25 rupees more on 75 so into 100 this is the interpretation of this question but you have to learn this trick next question question number <coughs> and this is frequently asked question for ssc question number 19 a sells a car price at 36000 rupees he gives a discount of 8 percent on the first rupees 20000 and 5% on the remaining 16,000. His competitor B sells a car of the same make, price at 36,000. If he wants to be competitive, what percentage discount should be offered on the market price? Very good question. Now, 36,000 is the price. He gives a discount of 8% on first 20,000. So, 30,000 into 8 percent that is 1600 rupees discount and on the remaining 16,000 he is giving 5 percent discount that is 800 rupees 16,000 into 5 percent that is 800 so total discount he is giving 2400 2400 discount is giving on 36,000 36,000 on 100 he will give 
20 by 3 20 by 3 that is 6.66 he will give discount now his competitor you want to be competitive then he has to give at least 6.66 percent discount so he should give discount 66 percent answer is c next question question number 20 the length of the rectangle is doubled while its breadth is halved what is the percentage change in area let's say this is 30 and 20 now the area here would be 600 if the rectangle length is doubled now it would become 60 instead of 30 60 and breadth is halved that is that is it is now uh, 10 instead of 20 it is 10 so area would be equal to 600 earlier it was 600 now it is 600 so there is no change it means none of these would be the answer next question question number 21 average of the square of consecutive odd number from 1 to 13 is so square of consecutive 1 3 5 7 9 11 and 13 and average square of this you can add you can add all these and then divide by 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 divide by 7 we will have 1 plus 9 1 9 25 49 81 and then 121 and plus 169 divided by 7 that should be equal to 9 plus 1 10 10 and 25 35 35 49 that is 84 84 and plus 81 165 165 plus 182 80, 121 286 286 and 169 that is equal to that is 7 7 we will have 65 this would be 65 65 would be the average answer is B question number 22 Consider a class of 40 students whose average weight is 40 kg and new students join this class whose average weight is n kg. If it is known that m plus n is equal to 50, then what is the maximum possible average weight of the class now? Earlier students were 40, average is 40, total is 1600. Total is 1600. Now m new student join. So instead of 40, now it is 40 plus m. 40 plus m new student. There uh, whose average weight is n. So total weight now 1600 plus m into n. Total average weight of newcomer. Total weight of newcomer divided by total student. That that will be, uh, that will be the total average. But there is a condition here. If it is known that m plus n is 50, it means what is the maximum possible average weight of the class? And maximum possible will only be when the value of n would be always greater than 50, greater than 40. Why? Because average weight of earlier student was 40. So there should be more than 40. Then it will become more than 40 overall so this should be more than 40 so if this is more than 40 then let's say this is 10 then this would be 40 but here if it is uh, if here it is 45 then it would be here 5 like this now we have to tell from this combination that which will be make uh, the highest average now from the from the option technique or by hit and trial method you can see that 1600 when we will have 5 5 into 45 and here then it would be 40 plus 5 that is 45 this is equal to you know 5 into 45 that would be 5 into 5 25 and 225 divided by 45 that that is equal around and plus 1600 plus 1600 that is making 1825 divided by 45 you can cancel by 9 
will have 365 by 9. 365 by 9 is equal to 40.56 around 40.56 40 now see if I put here instead of middle we have, why we have taken middle 45 and 5 this is middle because the, the uh, m 40 and 10 then this would be 5 and 45 because this would be then middle if it is less than 45 and above than 45 so let's take the trial of a 44 and 46 here if it is 44 here, then we will have 600 plus here 44 and then this would be here 44 into uh, this would be 46, 46 into 4 that would be 180. So 1600 184 divided by so that, that is 1784 divided by divided by 44 it will make 40.55 that is not highest highest is this in this side and if you again take instead of a 4, four you can take 6 6 and 44 and if you add this in 1600 divided by 40 plus 6 then you will still find that it is not making 40 it, it will be less than 40.56 so highest would be we will take middle in the middle answer would be b you can solve by hit and trial because according to the option also according to the option also next question question number 23 23 the price of petrol went up by 25 percent in order that expenses on petrol should not increase one must reduce travel by now the important trick here is 25 percent up that is more so 25 divided by 125 because when there is more we always add and that should be equal to 20 percent means earlier earlier price was 100 now it is 125 so on 125 he has to reduce his consumption 25 on 100 the interpretation is this but you must know this trick when there is more than always add if there is less than always always subtract answer is b next question question number 24 a house and a shop were sold for rupees 1 lakh each in this transaction house sell resulted into 20 percent loss whereas shop sell uh, result into 20 percent profit entire transaction resulted in now this is very important question and in this question answer is not asked in percentage in fact it is asked in absolute term one thing is clear that there will be always loss when percentage and low um, when profit and low uh, profit and cost sorry loss and profit is given equally percentage there will be always lost and when selling price is given which is equal of both the item here but there are three loss at least two loss so answer would be from c and d now c thus uh, it means we have to solve otherwise we could have taken from the option only 20% loss 1 is 1 lakh is selling price 20% loss means 100 by 80 is you can say 5 by 4 5 by 4 is <coughs> cost and cost of next second is 1 into 100 by 120 because 20% profit that is 5 by 6 lakh so 5 by 4 lakh 5 by 6 lakh this is the cost price <coughs> that is equal to 25 by 12. So this is cost of these two and 1 lakh plus 1 lakh that is 2 lakh. So 25 by 12 minus 2 lakh this will be the loss that would be equal to 1 by 12. So 1 by 12 lakh would be the loss. We have taken 1 instead of 1 lakh because it is then easier to calculate. Answer is C. Next question, question number 25. 50% of A percentage of a B is 75% of B percentage of C. 
we show the following is C. Now, according to the statement, I 50 percent of A by 100 of B is equal to 75 percentage 70 by 100 of B by 100 of C. Now, you can cancel to this and that should be equal to you can cancel B to B and 2A divided by 3 is equal to C. Question is which of the following is C? C would be and that is 0 0.667A is equal to C. Answer would be B. So in this presentation we have covered question from 1 to 25. In the next presentation we will cover question from 26 to 50. Thank you very much for watching this presentation. All the best.